Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a new OP way of doing Super Archer Lalo for you today. It's absolutely mind-boggling. So obviously we've got Blizzard Lalo and we've got Slizzard Lalo where you use the Stone Slammer as your Blizzard. But I'm just going to call this the Super Slammer. So look, we've got a few loons here to set up the funneling and then we let that Stone Slammer loose. And look at the value it's about to get. This is absolutely insane because obviously, you know, Super Wizards are really good, and they can get a lot of value, but they can get nowhere near as much value as these Super Archers do. So we pull that Titan away, because we can't let it take down our Super Archers. And there goes the two Clone Spells and our Super Archers, and they are just going to wreck the core of this base. Look at this. It's absolutely mental. There goes another Ground Bow. Town Hall's being targeted. We've also got one on the Defensive Queen. Can we get rid of the Eagle as well? Oh my word, the value, it's just ludicrous. Look at that. An entire chunk of the base is gone. And do you want to know what's the most ridiculous thing? We didn't have to use our Warden for this. A lot of the time, the insane Super Archer value you see on a base will be because you use a Warden and you land it in the core of the base. But this, we just had to use a few balloons to funnel in the Stone Slammer and we are set to go. And now we've still got our Warden ability with our Lalo. Like, this base is just in so much trouble. So we'll zoom in, starting our Sui here. The Titan obviously does amazing work, getting rid of the defensive CC. We've got the King and the Ice Golem, and we're just going to wall break the junction here. And I mean, look at this. Hits the junction perfectly, and our Queen's going to step in. Hopefully the ground bow does not go after our Queen. Unfortunately, it does. Oh, well, what can you do? Now, I believe it was deliberate to hit this junction as well, because it didn't actually need to wall break into the ground bow compartment, because you can still reach the ground bow from the outside. Just going to have everything walk around. We've got the RC to help out the heroes. And now... For once, Sawan can use his Warden with the Lala, and I mean, this this base is in so much trouble. Obviously, Raged Multi-Infernos are nothing to laugh about, and this attack might look close in the end, but this is not close at all. This is absolutely wrecked. Warden ability goes off. The Multi, the Rage Multi is still putting in work, but the RC is going to get rid of the Monolith. Beautifully done by her, and uh, the... The Lalo's just going to take out the rest. There still is a defensive queen up, but, I mean, we've only just popped our king ability. Our queen's back to being full health. This is crushed. And I love this way of taking down bases, because I think this will be extremely effective on diamond bases. Now, on box bases, uh, there is already kind of two main approaches, where it's going for the core or going for behind the town hall with the blimp. Both of those are already effective, so I don't see this working as well on uh, box bases, but on diamond bases, which is getting increasingly popular, this can be really strong, and I've got another replay for you on that. Another diamond here, and I want to have a look at this town hall comp, because look, you've got a bomb tower here and a bomb tower here, so the defender's not really worried about a blizzard for the town hall. Obviously, it's still very doable if you land it here, but you won't get a CC pull if you do that, so the attacker's probably feeling pretty confident. Let's see what Sawan does. Obviously, he's not coming in with a Blizzard attack, coming in with the Super Archer clone. But uh, this is just stupid how this works out. So look, we are using a few Balloons and a Hound, so there is some sort of investment going on here. But have a look. Just checking as much... He's as much making a funnel as he is checking for Teslas, because Teslas are the weakness of the Stone Slammer. Because obviously, if a Tesla pops it will change the pathing of the Stone Slammer. It won't just go where you want it to. So you do need to be careful of that. But I mean, have a look at this. We get the Super Archers cloned. And uh, yeah, this base is in a lot of trouble. This base is in a lot of trouble. Look at it. We've got them in a great area of the base. We've cleared out a multi-inferno compartment. We've cleared out the uh, monolith behind the town hall. And uh, we do actually use that last... Uh, in this, I believe he wanted the Super Archers to try and get rid of that core multi-inferno instead of targeting the Lava Hound. Probably not worth it. Probably just would have been worth to hang on to that invis and use it for the heroes. Now, obviously, the one downside of this now is uh, we've only got one Lava Hound for the Lolo, but it is a Lice, uh, a Lice Hound. It is an Ice Hound, so it is pretty tanky. Uh, so not too much to complain there. And if we get the Ice Hound and the Warden ability, well, obviously, that's a double tanky. RC on the top side with a baby dragon or wizard to just funnel our king and queen into the core. Looking nice here. Obviously no freeze spells, so you know, you've got to make this work. You've got to make it work as cleanly as possible, but it is looking good so far. And here comes the Lalo. 
Uh, our king is just beating on a wall, unfortunately. RC is a bit low on health, and as you can tell, the core of this base is very, very anti-Lalo. So that is going to be a problem. But look, great warden ability. You get our RC and most of the loons in it. Tornadoes going off. And we're just going to slowly but surely overwhelm the base. I'm not even sure if our Lalo lives here. Because look, this rage tower puts in absolute work. But it doesn't matter. We've got just enough to get the job done. All these loons making it through the core. And that right there is a GG. That's another diamond base that goes down with this army. So, kind of crazy to me how strong this is. And I'm going to give it a few goes myself. So, let's see if we can find a few bases that this army works on. Alright, here is a diamond base for you guys. Now, I just picked one of the few diamond bases I actually had. So, I don't even know if this is necessarily a good uh, base for it. Because as you can tell, a lot of the anti-Lalo targets are up the top. But we're going to try and get this snow stone slammer in on this expo. Now... You could never do this with a blimp because you'd have to send the blimp from all the way over here. So how are we going to do this? Well, we just need to set a funnel so that we can path it. So we'll start with the hound here. One, two, three. Balloons there. One, two down here. And as soon as this archer tower goes down, I believe we should be able to direct target the other archer tower. And that's perfect. Unfortunately, a titan comes out. So this could get a little messy, but that's kind of my fault. We're going to angle it. And let's see what mayhem... Oh, the monolith in the core is already down. Okay, one more invis. I'd love to get that other ground bow down. And we will. And I mean, look at that value. Look at that value, guys. That is insane. That is insane, and we didn't even have to use our Warden ability for it. We did not have to use our Warden ability. Now, we're down to one Lava Hound, but we only really need one Lava Hound, in my opinion. I'm going to make sure the uh, that Titan's not in uh, my Unicorn's range. I'm actually just going to use my Titan over here to tank for my RC. Because there's that double cannon there, which can get a little, uh, not so fun. Pop the King early. Wait, King step right. Oh, he stepped left, so he's going to get wrecked by the single, but that's okay. And we're just going to deploy this Lalo. Look at the, Look at that. We eat all of those, uh... We should have got all the uh, headhunters in that warden ability. Hopefully the loons can get on top of that rage scatter. I mean the loons are dying, but the problem for uh, the problem for this base is uh, I've still got way too much up, <laughs> and that should work. I mean this single inferno is going to be problematic, but the loons path to it beautifully, and that is a GG. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. That actually worked. Maybe you guys should try this in war. If there's that pesky little diamond base that no one can take down, try out the... Try and see if you can find a stone slammer pathing in next to the town hall. Because if you can get that stone slammer pathing, whew, you are going to get so much value. Have the warden for the Lalo. And that is an easy triple. Now that last attack was going to be the final attack of the video. But someone has just hit me in Legends League. I actually cannot believe this has happened. He found me in Legends League. And we all know that is bad news for my base. So here comes in the blip. Now he isn't using the Stone Slammer like we've seen so much for the rest of the video. But he also isn't using the Warden with this blink. So you kind of see a similar sort of thing to the Stone Slammer. Where he's going to have the Warden for the second part of the attack. And trust me, you're going to want to see that. Archer pulls everything away. Super Archers are chilling. And oh no. This is going to be gruesome for me, guys. This is going to be gruesome. You don't want to get hit by probably the best Super Archer Lalo player on the planet. I don't think a lot of people would necessarily disagree with that. And he gets the Eagle. Like, are you serious? Oh, this was frustrating. 
But also, you know, if I'm gonna get wrecked by someone, I may as well get wrecked by someone who's providing content for us all, you know. This minus 40, because we all know it's gonna be a minus 40, it's worth it for you guys at home to make sure you've got some awesome content. Now, look at this, by the way. I assume it's because he's upgrading his Phoenix on this account, but he's got a uh, Max... He's got a Frosty on his King. Kind of interesting. And yeah... He's going to style on me, guys. He's not just tripling me. He's going to triple me with a ground warden. Like, are you kidding me? I'm saying all these nice things on these videos we've done with him. Only for him to come up here and just... How to put it simply? Wreck me. In style. Pops the warden ability. Now, the warden can be really strong. Because heroes will often get more value than the Lalo itself. So, if you can push through an entire set of the base with the heroes, then by all means, just keep in mind, you know, the one benefit of the, using the one with the Lalo is the Lalo's not going to get stopped by walls, is it? Whereas heroes can, and it will minimize your value. But yeah, still chilling. The Lalo's coming in from the top. Just pop our queen ability. If I also pop our RC ability as well, our two headhunters come in, but they aren't needed. RC goes straight for the scatter shot, and yeah, I'm getting clowned on here. This is not even close. Look at how many balloons are up. He is, yeah, I, I got styled on. It happens to the best of us. We saw Sarwan in the other video we did with him style on some of the biggest pros in the game, including Klaus. So I will link that to my left there. Make sure you go watch that out when he was number five in the world. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, Stone Slammer, super OP with the super Archer Lalo.